I'd like to recount to you one of the greatest stories in modern history. It's a series of miracles that helped turn the tide uh, during World War II. The German Blitzkrieg, the Lightning War, had swept across Europe, had taken Belgium and Holland and then moved in, and France had collapsed. Meanwhile, the British had arrived at Dunkirk with their allies, and uh, they, they were trapped on that on that coast. And the Germans were surrounding them and they had half a million British troops there. And the Germans were boasting, the German high command boasted, the British army is encircled, our troops are proceeding to their annihilation. It seemed there was no hope for them. Well, King George the Sixth went on national radio in spite of his serious speech impediment, and he pled with the nation to join together in a day of national prayer, asking God for his help. They said only a miracle could help them now. And so on uh, May 26, 1940, the nation responded, and the churches were full of people crying out to God for their boys trapped on the beach at Dunkirk. And in actual fact, in the next few days, there were nothing short of three miraculous events that saved uh, the British Army. The high command was hoping, with the best of conditions, to rescue about 30,000 of the almost half a million troops, but it turned out much different. What happened was that on Monday, the day after, uh, Adolf Hitler called on his panzer divisions, who were within 10 miles of the troops at Dunkirk, to stop. And uh, he contradicted his generals and overruled their plans and left the troops there for three days, unmoved. There is some talk that Hitler was involved in a seance. He was dealing with witches and that they had told him to do this. In any case, um, the, the ground troops were held there, frustratingly held there, and so saved the lives of many British soldiers. And secondly, a furious storm blew in and grounded the German Luftwaffe. Again, for three days, it stormed and raged, and the uh, Air Force was not able to take off. Now, just a few miles away, the English Channel had a extremely rare calm. It was like a mirror, and um, it lasted for 48 hours. And so they called on all the ships, anything that would float. Uh, they brought them from Britain over to Dunkirk, and they were able to load up troops. And instead of 30,000, over 300,000 troops were rescued at that time. There were boys over in 14-foot boats, uh, old paddle wheelers, every imaginable scow that was able to come. One paddle wheeler made seven trips across and rescued well over a thousand men. And so um, as a result of these three very unusual events that all occurred one on top of each other, the, um, the storm that blew in, the command of Hitler not to move his ground troops, and the great calm across the English Channel. One of the great uh, remarkable events in the history of the war that really uh, turned the tide uh, for Britain. The Bishop of Chelmsford, H. A. Wilson, wrote the following, quote, if ever a great nation was on the point of supreme and final disaster and yet was saved, and reinstated it was ourselves. It does not require an exceptionally religious mind to detect in all of this the hand of God. And so the following Sunday, um, June 9, the, the nation joined in song using the words of the 124th Psalm, one of the songs of degrees, uh, to the the old writing of the Scottish Psalter. And the psalm goes like this. 
If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The streams would have gone over our soul, then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Dear believer, you may feel surrounded. You may feel trapped by the circumstances of life, whether it's at your job or in your family, in your personal circumstances, and you don't think there's any way of escape. Well, you may be surrounded, but there is an escape straight up. God has guaranteed that nothing will befall you but such as is common to man, but God is faithful. He has provided a way of escape, and the way of escape is to him. And so it was in this glorious story, and we can say however you wish to apply these words to the situation with the British Army, we certainly can apply these words to our own lives if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. If God be for us, who can be against us? 